Good morning, everyone. I'm Harigara Venkat Chauman, working as a faculty in physics department at Bills Pilani Hyderabad campus. Today, I'll be talking about uh, the material processes and characterization of rare earth dough plate ferroelectric ceramics for its potential usage in non volatile random access memory devices. The content of my talk are the following. To begin with, I'll be uh, describing uh, the importance of layered ferroelectrics materials for its uh, potential usage in non-volatile random access memory devices. The next comes the fabrication of layered ferroelectric ceramics, such as staunchium bismuth tantalate and barium bismuth neogate, followed by the structural and microstructural studies. And then I'll be talking about dielectric and ferroelectric characteristics of these layered ferroelectric uh, compounds. Finally, my talk will end with the conclusion part. So as we all know, there are uh, uh, two types of uh, memory. The first one is uh, volatile random access uh, memory. The second one is the non-volatile random access memory. So what is the speciality of uh, NVRAM over VRAM? It has superior performance. It has high speed read and write operation. It has low power consumption. And the data can be retained for a long time even when the power is turned off. So one of the classical materials that was widely used for NVRAM device was lead zirconium titanate. I have shown here the unit cell of uh, lead zirconium titanate in which the lead atoms are located at the corners of the unit cell. We have oxygen ions at the face center. And at the center, either we can have zirconium or titanium. So whenever an external electric field is applied to this material, the central atom will be displaced either up or down, thereby creating the permanent polarization states. So there are a few drawbacks associated with this particular material. The first one is it undergoes severe polarization fatigue, means the material can withstand up to 10 power 6 to 10 power 8 read per write cycle, and also it is toxic. So what are the major challenges involved in developing uh, NVRAM devices? The material should possess high fatigue resistance. The material should have high remnant polarization with low coercive field. And the material also should possess low leakage current and it should be non-toxic. So these are the major challenges involved in developing NVRAM devices. So the renewed interest stems from the layered ferroelectric uh, materials such as uh, strontium bismuth tantalite and barium bismuth uh, neobate due to low fatigue with polarization switching and also it is lead free. So there are uh, a few drawbacks associated with these layered ferroelectric compounds. The first one is low remnant polarization. The second one is high processing temperature. So much effort has been made in the literature in order to improve the physical properties of layered ferroelectric compounds, such as strontium bismuth tantalate and barium bismuth uh, neopate. So I found in my research work, the most effective approach to enhance the physical properties of these materials is by doping rare earth ion on the bismuth site in the crystal lattice of the layered ferroelectric uh, materials. So what is the reason for choosing rare earth ion as a dopant? The first one is ionic size. The ionic radio of samarium ion is less than that of bismuth ion. The second one is it appreciably decreases the DC conductivity of these compounds. So in our research work, we have successfully replaced 
bismuth ion by samarium ion in strontium bismuth tantalite and uh, barium bismuth niobate ceramics and studied for various physical properties. I have shown here the crystal structure of strontium bismuth tantalite, which belongs to the N equal to two member of the Aurelius family of ferroelectric oxides. Means it contains two perovskite like TaO6 octahedral units stacked between the bismuth oxide layers, as shown in this uh, uh, slide in which A sites are occupied by larger cation, that is SR2 plus, and B sites are occupied with cations of higher valency, that is TA5 plus. So these are the, some of the interesting uh, features of this uh, particular material. It crystallizes in non-central cementic group. It is orthorhombic at room temperature, and has, it has interesting physical properties. I have also shown the crystal structure of barium bismuth neobate. So this compound also belongs to N equal to two member of the Aurevilius family of ferroelectric oxides. Here it contains two perovskite like NbO6 octahedral units stacked between the bismuth oxide layers in which A sites are occupied by larger cation, that is Ba2+, plus, and B sites are occupied with cations of higher valency, that is Nb5+. Plus. And these are the, some of the interesting uh, features of this uh, uh, compound, that is barium bismuth neopate. It crystallizes in non-central symmetric group. It is orthorhombic at room temperature and it has interesting physical properties. So I have fabricated samarium dope strontium bismuth tantalate and samarium dope barium bismuth neobate ceramics by using a low temperature molten salt synthesis room in which I have used KCL as a flux. So after preparing uh, these compounds, we have subjected it for various uh, physical property studies that include dielectric and ferroelectric uh, characterization. So first I'll be talking about the structural, microstructural, dielectric and ferroelectric properties of uh, samarium dope, stanchium bismuth, and late ceramics. So in this slide, I have shown the X-ray diffraction patterns recorded for undoped as well as samarium doped uh, strontium bismuth and plate ceramics. So these X-ray diffraction patterns clearly reveal the presence of monophasic layered perovskite structure. So in this slide, I have shown the micrographs recorded for undoped as well as uh, five mole percent uh, samarium doped strontium bismuth and plate ceramics. So these micrographs clearly reveal the presence of uh, plate-shaped grains and the average grain size of these ceramics are found to be in the range of one to two micrometer. And we have also carried out the, the dielectric property measurement as a function of temperature for undoped as well as uh, samarium doped strontium bismuth and plate uh, ceramics. So it is observed that the Curie transition temperature shifts towards lower temperatures with increase in samarium content, and also the magnitude of the peak dielectric constant uh, decreased with increase in uh, samarium concentration. So this could be attributed due to the reduction in the distortion of uh, EO6 octahedron of strontium bismuth and plate uh, ceramics. So I have provided the values of the Curie transient temperature as well as dielectric maximum uh, in this uh, present slide for your uh, kind reference. This is an uh, important observation. The tunability of the Curie transient temperature towards lower temperatures uh, with samarium doping will have a significant influence on the remnant polarization in strontium bismuth and ceramics. 
So in this slide, I have shown the variation of polarization versus electric field for undoped as well as five mole percent samarium doped ceramics. It is interesting to note that the remnant polarization value increases with increase in samarium concentration. And this might be due to the increase in the structural distortion of perovskite unit in the crystal structure of strontium bismuth and late ceramics. So in the second part, I'll be talking about structural, microstructural and dielectric properties of uh, samarium doped uh, barium bismuth neobate uh, ceramics. So I have shown here the X-ray diffraction patterns recorded for the different compositions of uh, samarium. So in all these X-ray diffraction patterns, a monophasic layered perovskite structure is retined. And we have also recorded the micrographs for undoped as well as uh, samarium doped uh, as a barium bismuth neobate ceramics. All these micrographs clearly reveal the presence of well packed plate shaped grains. And this plate shaped morphology arises due to the anisotropic nature of the crystal structure. Uh, we have also carried out the dielectric uh, constant measurement as a function of temperature for different uh, concentrations of uh, samarium. Uh, it is uh, found that the dielectric maximum shift towards the lower temperatures continuously with increase in samarium concentration. And also the magnitude of the dielectric maximum decreased with increase in uh, samarium doping. And uh, this could be attributed due to the decrease in the distortion of NBO6 octahedron of uh, BBN uh, ceramics. So in this slide, I have provided the value of uh, TM as well as dielectric uh, maximum for different uh, uh, compositions for your uh, kind reference. So the tunability of TM towards lower temperatures with increase in uh, samarium uh, concentration um, clearly revealed that uh, it will have a greater influence on the electric uh, properties. So these are the conclusions. The X-ray diffraction patterns confirm the monophasic layered perovskite structure of uh, strontium bismuth pantry as well as barium bismuth uh, neobate ceramics. The scanning electron micrograph uh, revealed the presence of well packed plate shaped morphology. So, in general, uh, samarium doping affects the physical properties of stanchium bismuth tantrate and barium bismuth neobate uh, ceramics. And we have used the following uh, characterization techniques for uh, structural analysis for microstructural analysis, for dielectric studies, as well as for ferroelectric uh, studies, for our uh, proposed compounds. Thank you all. I also take this opportunity to convey my sincere thanks to the organizing committee for uh, giving me an opportunity to present our recent research work at this extreme conference. Thank you again.